These runners in the Shamrock Showdown, hosted by Nikolai's Pizza in Mechanicsburg, have over the years been helping the owners, Jeanette and Nikolai Magaro, raise funds for and awareness about several different nonprofit organizations. For the seventh annual event tomorrow, the focus will be on autism awareness and spreading awareness and acceptance in classrooms. It's a cause that's now personal for the Magaros, since their 11-year-old son, Luciano, was diagnosed with the disorder a year ago. It was also right around that time that Jeanette wrote a children's book on a plane ride home from a vacation and it's called my life with Gary and uh, we're getting ready to uh, publish it uh, should be in our hands in April and it just talks about how his life is different being on the spectrum okay how many of you are scratching your head saying didn't you just say Jeanette's son is named Luciano so who the heck is Gary well it came from a therapy session they explained to my son you know draw us a picture of the part of your brain that does not work like the rest of it, you know, do you identify with that? So he drew this uh, really not so pretty looking picture and they said, we want you to name it. And they said, okay, he says, Gary. Another change came with Lucci's diagnosis and that was the foundation name change from Nikolai's Pizza Foundation for Children to Autism in Classrooms. This year's Shamrock Showdown will fund the distribution of autism books like My Life with Gary to schools to educate staff and students about autism. You know, as a parent, that's struggling with the diagnosis initially, it's really hard to hear people um, misunderstand your child. And you know, with teachers and coaches that have daily interactions with someone like my son, and there being a lot of kids out there like him, it's really important to educate. What won't change with this year's Shamrock Showdown? The staff at Nikolai's coming in early to cook pizzas for participants that morning, and the cool swag bags that are actually pizza boxes with gifts inside. But the true gift for Jeanette is the feedback from people who share how her and her family's efforts are really making a difference. As I started talking about this book and what I'm doing, and I'm usually talking with somebody else who has a similar circumstance, usually they break down and cry. So there's no other way to explain how big that is when a stranger starts to cry about the work that you're doing. With this week's Making a Difference report, Sherry Christian, CBS 21 News.